Nakita nyo naman ngayon, eroplano naman ang sasakyan natin. Makarating lang tayo dun sa ating pupuntahan na destinasyon. Ma-interview lang ang ating susunod na celebrity dito sa Corina Interview. Saan kami pupunta? Hulaan nyo! At eto na ang world famous na mga isla. Yahoo! Work plus play equals fun. At lumipad pa nga tayo papunta dito sa Palawan sa so magandang isla ng El Nido to interview. Guess who? It's Piolo Pascual. Yes, here in Isla Amara. Wow! Hi. So impressive. Biro nyo, nilipad pa talaga natin si Piola Pascual for Corina Interviews and you're in for a treat because he's going to tell all. Diba? Yes, indeed. Oh, kita mo na? So, wanna start? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Wow, impressive. <laughs> Piolo Pascual is in the house! Yay! Woo! Or rather, Piolo Pascual is in the resort! Palakpakan And so are we! Oh, wow! Okay. So, mamaya natin pag-uusapan kung bakit tayo nandito sa Palawan in El Nido. Pag-usapan muna natin si Piolo, di ba? Pero ang dami mong pangalan. Saan ba nang galing yung Papa Piolo? Hanggang ngayon, di ba? Kilala niyo siya bilang Papa P. Di ba may nang galing po yan? Yan po yung totoo. It's from I.I. de la Salas. Sa sang linggo na po sila. I guess at one time. And she called me Papa P. And it kind of stuck from there. You know, I remember that time. And people were calling me Papa P. And it was parang for me. Parang mockery. <laughs> Bakit? Eh, parang I was still Papa very young. Bayan. I was still very young. Okay, but yeah, so, but uh, kinda, it's, it, it's a compliment. It became a compliment. And parang, you know, even... But before, hindi. Yeah, Ang parang, sayo, parang weird. Parang, <laughs> parang weird kasi bata Papa, ka pa. Papa, oh, no? yeah. Ayun. Yeah. Oo, totoo yun, ano? And talking about bata, sa ka ba pinanganak? Manila. Manila. Hospital ng Maynila. Sa hospital yeah. ng Maynila. Yeah. Batang Maynila, ikaw. Yeah, I grew up in Manila. Really? I was born and raised there. Childhood heroes. Sino ang mga childhood heroes mo? Bata ka pa nung mawala ang tatay mo. Yeah. Pero ano ang pinaka naaalala mo sa kanya? He would always take us to uh, trips. Pag may long weekend, he would, we would always go to different places. Like ganito, and then we would spend like, uh, we're six in the family, so we'll just be in one room with all the kids and our parents. Mm -hmm. Fun memories, you know. Wow, yeah, and we go okay. watch movies together, we go to church together. Ah, you know, yeah. okay. Hanggang anong edad ka bago kayo nag-America? Nag-America kami, I was already in my teens. Ah, yeah. okay. So okay. I was petitioned by my mom. Bakit kinailangan yung umalis ng Pilipinas? Well, you know, during the Marcus's time, you know, uh, our parents would go to the States for during a pasture, di ba ganun naman? Oh. So, my mom was working for the administration for 19 years. And then, you know, a lot of things happened. We're so unstable. And so, you know, her relatives are there. So, they all moved there. So, of course, us being the minors, we were uh, granted petition right away because we were kami. And hindi ka nahirapan. Look, as a teenager... It was really hard oh, because no. I was from here. But if there's one thing that this living in the States taught me was to really value work. 
Kung wala kang trabaho, walang kakainin. Unlike here in the Philippines, we're very family-oriented. In the States, you're forced to work, even at a young age. So you, you will know the value of money. So it really taught me, you know, in a hard way, how to be able to just value yung oras mo. You know, when you have to work, you have to pay your bills. So good thing also, because it kind of prepared me to, you know, the showbiz life that I was going to take on. Right, yeah. okay. I always hear about your mom. I don't. I hardly hear about your dad. Oh, because my dad passed early on. Oh, okay. So you know the I was only 16 when he passed. So, okay. Yeah, even before I went to the states, uh, I think it was a few months before that when he passed. And yeah. nasa showbiz din pala ang my, dad mo. My dad was a talent caster for foreign artists, foreign talents, because back then in the 90s or even in the 80s, uh, Chuck Norris, Steven Seagal. Masin Cynthia Roth, Rocky Monic film dito ng mga Hollywood stars. Oh. They would require foreign talents, right? So he was the supplier because my dad was blonde, my dad was white. So you know he was also part of yung know, pagindi siya na. Teka, 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 teka. Your dad was white? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, so and that's why comfortable kayo sa America to mira. Um no, I guess because we had to for my mom when mm. she moved there. Mm -mm -mm. But my dad was Born and raised here as well. Ah, okay. So it was just, I oh. guess, you know, he was more associated with the foreign uh, talents because he looked foreign. Oh, oh, so, oh, oh. so she nagpo provide the mga talents. Here. Interesting, yeah. ah, interesting. Parang naka ano ba yon? Naka affecto sa yon sa kamulatan mo sa show I guess business. you can say that. You know, there was one time. This is a little thing. I don't know if we discussed about this with Chris before. Uh, my very first uh, film that I did. I uh, was at, in Visconde Massacre, Chris's film. Um, it was my high school graduation. My dad wasn't able to find a replacement for Juicy Leno, the Maureen Holtman case. Uh, they were gonna do a reenactment with Carlo Jacob Aras. And it was my high school graduation. My dad was calling the landline at a small party with my friends and family. Sabi niya, uh, you have to be here because my, my talent didn't come. So that was my first uh, experience. Oh wow, yeah. as a teenager. As a teenager. At maliban sa dad mo, grade 5, mm -hmm. nasa entablado ka na. I think also one of the reasons why I got interested in acting was because of, you know, you channel a different side of you. So I was doing this uh, group play. I was in 5th or 6th grade, I think, Pygmalion in Galatea. So I was the leader of our group and we were asked to, you know, reenact the, you know, the, the story. So parang it gave me the sense of excitement. And so there was a theater group that was formed, Teatro Nikiko, and I joined. And I felt, tuwing nag-workshop kami, iba yung pakirandam ko sa excitement, iba yung fulfillment na I get to kind of, you know, uh, express. express and also feel like I'm in therapy. Because, you know, you have so much energy and then when you channel it in this way, Parang it gets more exciting, gets more colorful. So I think you know those are the uh, first things that made me want to try acting. Oh nga. And then you had to leave for America. Yes. Right? Uh, before I left, uh, I was part of uh, a children's show at Ibapa. Kailangan punong puno ng buhay pagbati mo sa kanila, ha? Oh, but nangyini ni ka? Huh? Eh, kuya Miguel, hindi mo maaring ikaw nang gumawa ng pagbati sa simula. Bukang hindi ko po kaya kinakabahan ako eh. Hindi maaari, Pipo. Ikaw ang nakapag-insayo. At kaya ka namin pinilay dahil alam namin magaling ka magsalita sa harap ng maraming tao. In uh, mid-90s, I was already in college in UST. Alam ko na yun ni. Eh. Yeah, yeah. Alam ko yung at, at iba pa na yan eh. Yeah, the children's show. Oh, so oh, I was nasa there. Nasa ABS-CBN na ako noon yes. eh. Yes. Oh, oh. Put me through college and then I had to go to the States. But back then, I was gonna be launched uh, Star Circle Batch 3. So uh, my mom, of course, didn't allow me because uh, I was under petition, so I said, I really want to do this, so I was given six months, and I was launched in 96, but I left right away after because I promised my mom, I'll just try it out, and that's when I stayed in the States for two years. Pero yung karanasan mo sa America, that shaped me. that really shaped me. You, you really think it was very important um, to how you are today? I always go back to that, you know, parang I... I obviously felt that the 9 to 5 wasn't for me. In Bundy clock, you know, I would wake up and feel like, you know, your, your time is 
talagang you have to go to this work. And I was working in a hospital. And I was doing odd jobs. You know, in the States, you have to do everything. Yan yeah, ang gusto namin malaman. Kasi, yeah. si, yung kilala ninyong uh, superstar ngayon na Piolo Pascual ay isang rakitero dati sa Amerika. Ano-ano mga racket mo doon? Uh, una ako pinasok na mami ko sa hospital where she was working in as a admitting ER representative slash clerk. So I was admitting patients from the admitting. I was doing a midnight shift sa ER. I got mid na patients. Pero hindi ko yung taga... No, no, I was just a sa clerk. Sa pasyente. Yeah, hindi. information oh. lang. Even dun sa ER bed, kumuha ko ang information, insurance and everything. Oh. So exposure, maganda exposure. And then, uh, on the side, I worked as a security guard for the Oscars because it's uh, near our place. Okay, hindi ako makapaniwala dito sa narinig ko. Isa siya dating security guard. Yeah. Well, Pero, sa Oscars. Oscars, yeah. Oh. It was a good experience for me because I saw all the Hollywood stars. At the time, they had the family album. So all the stars were on one stage and then they had to be in one room before they went on stage. So I was part of the security team that was uh, surrounding them. So nakapagpa-picture ka ba? No, we weren't allowed. Saka back then, wala pang mga phones. Bawal. Eh. Wala pang mga cellphone. <laughs> yeah. Anong pelikula naman yun? Titanic year. Titanic? Was Titanic year. Wow, Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah, and I saw all the former winners in one room. Shirley Temple. You got Cher there, you got Robin Williams and Walang literato, ano ba yan? Yeah. But it was, it was a good experience for it was an, it's, in, it's in your head. It's, it's, in it's your always head. gonna be in my head. Wow, biro mo, security guard ka dati. Ngayon, ikaw na nasa red carpet. Oh, hindi it's ba? A, it's a, still a... It, 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 I don't think it'll ever sink in, you know, whenever I attend red carpets. Oh. You know, parang it's a treat. Right. So, pag sinabi mong hero, I guess, uh, work ethic, yung galing mom, mo sa pagnenegosyo, working hard. My mom, uh, early on, uh, she already exposed us because she was working in Malacanang, so I would see what she was doing. And then, uh, very, you know, uh, very practical. And, you know, she had to raise all of us. So I already saw, you know, uh, that hard work is important. So I learned it from my mom. You know, nothing comes easy. You know, nothing happens overnight. So you really work hard for it. Mm -hmm. So you know, we didn't grow up with a silver uh, on a silver platter, but you know, we we knew how to value hard work early on in our lives. Yeah. I'm, so, I'm the youngest, so you're even the harder young, for me. You're the youngest. Six. Six. Yeah. Okay. Kailan na buo si ano Inigo? Inigo, I was 20. I was 21. In America. Here, before I left. Ah, before you left. Yeah. Okay. Ah, so dito siya. Yeah. Okay. Made in the Philippines Made in the Philippines. Si Inigo. Okay. Oh, pero nga, international na rin. International, diba? yeah. Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here today in the studio, chilling with my dad. Hey, it's your cue. Um, and we're going to be recording together for the first time. So it should be fun. Proud guy. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, his, his success is my victory. Whenever he gets something big, a good, uh, a really nice gig such as Monarch, I'm like, I'm the proudest dad, you know, it's something that, you know, for me, we claimed it early on in his life. And parang for me, I already saw it coming, in a sense, as a father. Parang, you know, I know he's going to be big, I know he's very talented, he's very skilled. So, you know, his stage is the world, I would always tell him. Wow, yeah. sky's the limit. Sky's the limit. Who knew? Exactly. I mean, uh, ang galing pala niya kumanta at mag-compose. So no, he's acting, well, Okay, so what so about so him surprises you still? Uh, he's a good painter. You know, growing up, he asked me to uh, take him to music, singing, dancing lessons. And during his time in the States, that's all he did. And he's very multi-talented. Ayo, so showbiz talaga. Yeah. Showbiz talaga. Yeah, so, ito so. ngayon, from America, hindi nakatiis, bumalik si Piolo dito sa Pilipinas at parang doon na nagtuloy-tuloy, right? Yeah. I promised uh -oh. my mom, I was 21, I said, Mom, I, I, I remember the words I said. Sabi ko, Mom, I want to do this now because I don't want to look back on this 10, 20 years down the road and, you know, I, I feel as if I didn't do what I wanted to do because I already felt in my head, parang, I want to pursue this, but I was in the States, you know, parang, I was Asian, so it's hard to penetrate Hollywood back then, especially in the 90s. So I tried, I tried out one last time in the Philippines and maybe see, you know, what happens and I can safely say to myself five years from now that at least I did it, I tried it. I didn't know it was going to change the course of my life. At dumating ka na nga sa Pilipinas at yun na ang naging simula, pero hindi naging madali. Oh yeah. I think that's why I value 
my uh, journey is because it was never easy. I had to start again because I was gone for a while. So I had to audition. And the first uh, show that I auditioned for was a Sandaling Kailangan Mo Ako with Inang, Olive Lamasan. And she made me do different uh, acting and I got the part. And I thought I was just going to be one of the members of the cast, but I played the Contrabida to Marvin's character. Look around you, ma. Hindi na tayo ang pamilyang tinitingala ng lahat. Sirang-sira ng pangalan so, natin. So, it was fun. It was really fun. Okay. Yeah, and then, uh, they put me uh, they put me sa Esperanza, ni Julian, as a kontrabida again. Pwede ba, Cynthia, tigilan na natin to? Pabiyaan mo na sa Esperanza, tama na! Hindi! Itutuloy ko lahat ng mga pinaplano ko. Boys, kapag nagpatuloy ka pa, hindi na ako mag-aatubilin sabihin pa sa kanya lahat ng plano mo. And on the side, uh, I had a film, Lagarista. So I was doing everything. As soon as I started, dire-diretso. Teka mo na. Paano nangyari na supporting Contrabida, two heart throb leading man? All right, it happened. How long? How long is that process? It was kind of quick because when Sasundaling Kailangan Mo came out, in, came out in 98, 99, I was doing Esperanza as the obsessed uh, uh, guy to Judean's character. Sa mahal kita. Gagawin kong lahat para sa'yo. Walang mawala sa buhay ko. Parang sa'yo ko kaya mawala ka sa akin. And then, they gave us uh, parang trial film, Love Triangle, kahit isang saglit, with Leandro Munoz. Naglalaba pa nga ako eh. Alam mo kasi, yan ang training na tatay ko sa amin. Kaya pa nag-asawa kami, eh hindi kami mapapaya sa babaeng papakasalan namin. <laughs> okay pala tatay mo eh, kakaiba. <laughs> it became big. So, susunod ko, so pull it with her. That was Bida Nako as her kalab team. Oh. And then, nilaunch yung Lagarista. And then, I was doing the Kata Setenta at the same time as well. Pasensya ka na eh. Hindi ako nakapagpaalam sa inyo ng maayos last time. Hindi ko kasi malaman ko paano ko sasabihin na... Yung Dekada si Tenta, you mentioned that. Yeah. Uh, I hear it's your favorite of... One of your favorites. Yes, definitely. Why? Why? It's a... Uh, it also uh, changed my mentality about what I was doing because to feel validated in this business is hard. Sa bagay, conditioning lang naman naisip lahat yun eh. Takay ko nung kinondition ng sarili ko na pag nahuli nila ako, babalaan ko yung kung naisip ko para kahit na anong gawin nila sa akin. Wala na... You gotta prove your worth over time. But with Dekada 70 and I got all the awards, all the trophies from different award giving bodies, I felt as if, no, I have a home. You know, I, I felt as if... This is I'm, where you belong? Yeah, this is where I belong. This is my business. And it's working. You know, I'm productive. And, you know, I'm recognized in a way. So it kind of gave me that boost that I needed just to be more confident and be more comfortable in what I was doing. Oh, okay. Pero parang, parang ang daling ikwento, no? Pero sa totoo lang, ang oh, hirap ng pinagdaanan. Sweat and blood. Yeah, tears, of course. Ang and hirap. very physical. Kasi wala ka ng tulog, ang tulog mo na lang in transit. And you have to look the part, you have to look your best every time. Correct, correct. So, good training. Good With Mr. Training. M and uh, ABS, of course, oh, oh. Uh, backing you up. It's also good because meron kang, uh, meron kang anchor. You oh. know, Mr. M would tell me what roles to take on, what not to uh, accept. So, I was properly guided. Even my mom was in the States. I had Tita Mariol and Mr. M, you know, guiding me. And back then, si Tita Charo pa ang uh, boss natin. So, talagang properly guided ako. So, ano, never, never ka nagka-attitude? Of course, hindi naman pwedeng mawala yan eh. But oh. of course, I think uh, my saving grace is my family. They never look at me as a celebrity. Whenever I'm home, they always make sure that I feel grounded. Pwede pa rin nila akong utusan. And, you know, hindi nila pinipid yung ego ko. And also, in this business, I learned early on na, you know, you don't bring your work home. Pagkatapos ang trabaho, pagkatapos ang camera, you are your, you know, your uh, natural self again. And sabi ko nga, it's worked for me. Eh. So parang pagtrabaho, hindi, you don't live that kind of life. You know, pag naka-on lang yung camera. And I have a good support system, I should say. Siyempre, habang bata ka, ang tanyag-tanyag mo, gano'n ganyan. Madaling, hindi. madaling ma, ano. Pero dumating ba yung part na lumaki ang ulo mo? Yeah, admittedly, yeah. Oh? Na parang feeling ko, you know, I deserve this, you know, uh, 
uh, this is because of what I'm doing. And good thing I, I, I understood that or I realized that early on because after all the accolades, after all yung mga victories and successes, I felt empty. So, uh, anong lowest point mo in your career? Uh, very positive kasi ako eh. Oh. So when there's a low, uh, I pray, I sleep, I take my time off, and you know, I take the back seat and just really think hard. And then after, after a while, pag mawawala na, you move on. So, I had a lot of highs, I had a lot of lows, but I never dwell on it. Ah. Yeah, wala kong choice eh. Wala oh. kong chance to even dwell on the, on the, on the big win. Kasi kailangan mo mag-taping ulit the next day. So I never had the chance to really uh, focus on things of the moment because I'm damn good at Correct. Since the last time I interviewed you, it's been what two decades. Yeah. Two About decades, uh, b- baka more, right? Yeah. Uh, iba yung piolo noon, iba yung piolo ngayon, right? Yung sa pananaw mo una, pananaw mo sa buhay, paano nagbago? I've learned to smell the roses. I've learned to value myself uh, in the process and have a proper time management. As you get older, you kind of, you know, shortlist, you know, all the things that you want to do. So, mas nagiging calm ka, mas nagiging uh, parang purposeful yung, um, yung mga araw mo because you only do the things that you value. And then you have more time for yourself, you have more time off cam, and hindi lahat ginagrab mo. Ah, yeah. namimili ka na. Um, just, to, just to avoid uh, the feeling of burnout because I felt that you know, after like being a workhorse for 20 years, mm. when I was turning 40, I was already rebelling. I said, I don't have to work, I don't have to work. And that was a turning point. I said, I have to also value, you know, my so-called mental health and just to focus on things that I can take on and just, uh, you know, have time for yourself so that it's more balanced. I hope all. <laughs> I am going to take the cue from you and I'm older than you. Well, I never really knew that you were a security guard, okay? Or you were a clerk in a hospital. Hindi ko ma-imagine para nagagaganong-ganon ka. Pero I'm very happy to know that one of the things that people don't know about Piolo is he's a dog lover too. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Pretty much. Especially during the pandemic, because may oras kana, may oras kana for them. So what I started doing, whenever I would take on a role, I'd, I'd name my dog my character because I would only get male dogs, so they don't really you know, procreate. They don't multiply. Oh, 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 oh. So now I have about ten dogs in the property. Some poor. Yeah, the last one I got was an American bully, which I named Daniel from Flower of Evil. And then I have a cockapoo. I named them Peep, Peepa and Peepo. Then I have a couple of labs, and then. Uh, pero pero you also rescue, right? You have an aspin. I have an aspin uh, that was with us since we uh, built the house in Batangas, and this, they're still there. I have two aspins. Oh wow, yeah. they're the best. I think aspins talaga matibay, loyal, Magaling, uh, loyal, yeah. loyal, yeah. very grateful, yeah. di ba? Wow, sampu, I love it. Sampu ang dogs niya, okay. Pero, eto pa, kung hindi siya naging artista, magiging teacher sana siya. Dami mo siguro estudyante. <laughs> Bakit mo naisip maging teacher sa UST? Hindi naman, you know, parang siguro imparting your knowledge or, you know, parang it's one of the ways. I'm always, I always get invited to do like, you know, uh, like a TED talk or something. And I, I, I get jittery because it's not my comfort zone, it's not my forte. But I always, you know, I'm always up for the challenge. Yeah. Mayain ka pa rin kahit artista ka. <laughs> it, it's in my nature. <laughs> may ganun pala, may artista pala it's na mahiyain. Ah, it's a Which switch. is better for me because at least I don't have to channel my own self when I'm acting because I know it's a character. I get lost in the character. I totally get lost in the character. I was just thinking about it the other day. I was like, sino pa talaga ako? And I, I, I just give so much of myself to the character that I forget about myself and I just become the character whoever I'm playing. So that becomes more exciting for me. So even if I sing, you know, you channel a different side of you or when you perform, it's a different side of you. But at a certain point, shouldn't you know who you really are? Exactly. When I'm home, when I'm with my family, when, when oh. the cameras are off, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm naturally myself because I'm very spontaneous. But 
uh, just the same, you know, if I can keep to myself, you know, I, I, I just I just stay in one area. Okay. And I'm, not, I'm not the life of the party. Okay lang yun. Let them work. <laughs> let, the, let them do the work. Tagatawa ka na lang, di ba? At kumuha ka rin ng course ng physical therapy. Ano ba talaga? No, because in the States, it's uso eh, back then. So my mom forced Oy, us to take physical therapy. Oy, kumikita talaga mga PT doon. Oo. But I don't know. I guess gusto ko lang talaga mag-artista. But States was too big for me. That's why I came back home. Right. Yeah. Be a big fish in a smaller bowl. Yeah, and take right? it from there. Take it from there. Okay. Pero ito ngayon, ito yung uh, siguro medyo nakatago na hindi masyadong nakatago na side ni Piolo, ang kanyang pagiging isang negosyante. Aside from he likes pusit. Siningit talaga. Mahilig siya sa pusit. Okay. Anong luto ng pusit? Anything. My my favorite is grilled and then adobo. My Ayun. gosh. Ayun. Okay. Ito na ngayon pagiging negosyante mo. Mm -hmm. um, we're here now in his latest baby. It's called Isla Amara. Mm -hmm. And um, dito marami tayong natutunan tungkol sa piolo na hindi natin alam, which is that you paint. Yeah. You also paint. Kailan ka naman nagsimula sa oh, painting mo? Oh, just recently. Mo? Just recently. The pandemic din. Ah, ganun? Yeah, I was more into photography before. Okay. But I would always have to bring my camera so I don't get to enjoy the views. Correct. So I stopped doing it. Now I have more time for other things. Okay. Yeah. Pero ang gaganda ng mga photos. Thank you, thank you. Magandang photos. Ayaw mo mag one-man show. I don't have the time for it. Yeah. Okay. We can mount it for you. <laughs> but we will have to earn from it. <laughs> exactly. Okay? Commissioner Corina. <laughs> Pati yung iyong mga painting, ayaw mong ibenta? No, not necessarily. You know, it's just a personal touch to the hotel. Well, Isla Amara is full of Piolo's paintings. And there actually is a Piolo room. Imagine, pwede bang i-book ang Piolo and Catherine room? Yes, definitely. Pwede? It's uh, two of the biggest rooms in the hotel. Kind of personalized with our touch. So, yeah, it's okay. a treat. So, okay. So, pag-usapan muna natin yung kanyang bagong baby, ano? itong Isla Amara. Why? Why, why El Nido? Why Isla Amara? I always like nature, I always like the beach, I always like to have some time off from a busy kid. So whenever I would have the chance, I'd jump on the plane and come to El Nido. Mm -hmm. And uh, even in the 90s, I was already coming here, I was already flying to El Nido. So parang for me, if I were to build something, a business, I wanted to go to So the opportunity came. And it's a good hotel. It's a good area in Leo. Mm -hmm. Because why not? So, Parang hitting two birds with one yes, stone. Yes, because I get to get to spend my time off here and do business at the same time. Right. Yeah. So you have 42 rooms. 42 rooms, uh, and different classes, and then we have a pool. And then the beach is a few meters away from Ang the hotel. Ang ganda ng beach. Ang ganda ng location, I swear. And the airport and is just uh, 100 meters away. The airport is just nearby. Yeah, yeah restaurants, restaurants, different cuisines. Yeah. Different cuisines. I can't believe it. Yeah. Para siyang one-stop shop. Yes. Especially when you go to town. At night, uh, my business partner and I uh, would always end up in town. And what I'm doing is, you know, exposing myself there so they would get used to me. Yeah, okay. so when I'm there, you know, parang okay lang, hi hi lang. Baka mamaya mag-mayor ka na dito, ah. Hindi naman, no, no, that, that, that's, not, that, that's not on the horizon for me. <laughs> that's not in the horizon. Yeah. So, this is one of his latest ventures and it's open to the public? Officially open to the public. Oh, uh, oh. Andiyan na yung telephone number, ah. Pwede na kayo mag-booking dyan, ah. Yes. Anytime, here. Pero baka ang mangyari, sabihin nila, ah, mag-book po kami kung kailan nandiyan si Mr. Piolo Pascual. Madalas ka ba dito? Yes. Uh -oh. Can I stay there too? Okay. So, ano sa kwarto? So, in all likelihood, <laughs> pag pumunta kayo dito, makikita nyo siyang kumakain ng almusal. Pahara-hara. Correct, correct, correct. But Piolo, as a, as a businessman, that's one thing not too many people know about. Mm -hmm. Marami ka talaga pinapasok. Bakit ganun ang ethic mo sa money? Because uh, showbiz life is not permanent. You're not young forever. You're not in your prime forever. So you have to know that. So pag pumasok ka na, of course, the offers come in, projects come in, you're able to save up because you're a workhorse. So, not just to save it for the rainy days, but very future. So, early on in my life, I've already, I, I, never spent, I never spent beyond my means. 
I would save up. I would not uh, apply for a loan. I would save up for something that I want to get, I want to purchase. And once I have the money, that's, that's the only time I'll buy it. And through time, I was able to kind of, you know, build my portfolio with real estate. So, ah, lupa talaga. Yeah, because real it's estate. passive and I didn't have the time to attend to other businesses na kailangan uh, hands-on ka. Correct. So, and then... At um, lumalaki yung value ng lupa. Always appreciates. But the thing is, with hotel business, since I love going on vacations, it's something that I, sabi ko, you know, just like what you said, you hit two birds with one stone. You know, doon ka na sa business mo, nakapagbakasyon ka pa doon. Correct. Yeah. Ano, matalino ka talaga eh. Thank Tamang you. tama, hindi ba? Yeah, practical. Parang, practical. Everything is practical. Practical lang talaga. And especially now, as we're speaking, ang dami pong tao dito. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ang daming tao, kahit medyo maumbon. Pero we're very happy for you that you got into something that you really, really love. Yeah. A man of many passions. Ang tawag dyan, Renaissance man. Renaissance. Oh, oh. Thank you. Oh, may bago ka na, hindi na lang Papa P. Ah. Renaissance. Renaissance P. <laughs> <Di> ba? <laughs> okay. You. So, ang balita ko, itong si Mr. Uh, uh, Award-winning actor and uh, certified heartthrob na certified entrepreneur ay isang bartender din. <laughs> Pero healthy bartender. Bakit mukha pa rin bata si Piolo Pascual? Ito na po ang isa sa mga sikreto. Ayan. Yeah. We have a nursery at home, so we get our produce from our uh, garden. And then I always make it a point to drink ginger. Wow. Just to boost the energy. That's good. Ginger. Yeah. Ginger yeah. is good. Overall. Ginger, ginger shots. Uh oh. And then so of course, mayroong luya. Yan ang mga yeah. uh, recipe natin. And uh, pineapple. Pineapple. Ayun. Aside from this, you do, ano, nagma-marathon ka pa ba? Um, I used to train a lot before uh, because of uh, my runs, my races with Sun Life Ironman. So now I have three races next year. Alam but, mo, uh, bakit parang ginagawa mo lahat? Sabay-sabay. I can never stay still, I should wow. say. Yeah. Eh, eh, some people regret doing Iron Man. Ikaw talagang yeah. inuulit-ulit mo pa. Minsan kasi pag nagkasubuan na, pag nandunga na, parang out of uh, pride siguro, you don't want to finish it. I did 10 years consecutive of Iron Man. But I only do relay because I don't have the time to train for all three sports. So no, I'm just focusing on bike. Really? Yeah. How do you do that? Why? Alam nga naman ito lang ang secret. Ano pa? I sleep a lot. Uh, sleep? I... Sleep is important. Water. Yeah, and uh, time management, you know, uh -oh. yeah, just like what I was saying, balance, proper balance of everything, diba? So you take a ton of supplements? Um, yeah, and, di ba, but may water, wala bang water ito? Oo, dapat may water <laughs> at saka konting eh. yellow, ayun yun, no? Pag nandyan na lahat, lalagyan na ng yellow. Nice, may concoction. Okay. So pa. sleep is important, you take supplements? Water. Water, and sleep is important, right? Very, very important. So, and eight to ten to, hours. Just to recover. Ten, eight a month. Eight. Nowadays, when you, when you get older, six to eight is fine. You know what? You still do ten? I try for my mental health. Wow. Yes. Uh, you kind of feel yes. sluggish, kasi, di ba? A little. You're not able to be creative. Sa bagay. Pag wala kang tulog. Oh, so, oh, anywhere I am, I think it's become a talent for me, like even at taping. Pag walang take so that I can reserve my energy, kahit sa mga kaya lagay sa upuan, I take naps. Totoo? Yeah. Kaya mo? Yeah. It's become a talent. It's become a skill. Nakasara bibig mo. Dahan-dahan ka. Baka pasukin ng kung ano yan. I cover myself. Ah, you cover yourself. Okay. So pag natapos ko na to. <laughs> because baka kunan ka ng litratong natutulog sa bangko. Nakabuka ang bibig. Naku, not good for your aging. Eh. Huh? It's okay. Okay. It makes you human, I guess. Okay. And some oranges. And before I ask him about his world tour with Jerry Corosales, buksan muna natin ang mixer. Ayan. It's so good. Sometimes it's all I have during the day. So I do one meal a day. So if you're not able to work out, if you're not able to exercise, at least uh, with juices, with smoothie. You one know, you meal still have... a day? Oh, yeah. depende sa ilalagay mo. Pwede ba lagay ng lechon? Ang... <laughs> Smoothie, on the side. <laughs> kare kare smoothie. Yan. With rice. Nakahalo na rin yung rice sa loob. Okay. When is the world tour happening? 
We're here now. We just uh, finished our rehearsal. rehearsal. Yes, here in Manila, and, um, and we're, we're gonna see you soon. Yes. So our uh, first leg will be at Vancouver. Yes, and then Calgary. Calgary. We're gonna have fun. I have a world tour. Uh, November. Four in Vancouver, five in Calgary, in Canada, and then the week after is Houston and then uh, Sacramento. Wow, yeah. two heartthrobs together. Yeah, Any first idea you want? Uh, from a friend of mine from the States. He wanted to do a reunion of hunks. So it's been like 20 years. So it's the first time I'm actually touring with Jericho. Wow. Yeah, together. That's really something. Yeah. It's the first time you're touring with your co heartthrob Jericho Rosales. So are you song and dance? No, it's uh, mostly singing. It's uh, singing. With, a, with a full band. Ah, he's a singer too. Yeah, he, so. he loves to dance, so it's gonna make me dance. But you know, anything happens during a concert. <laughs> Leave it to the more expert. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see? We learn something new every day. Expert in everything except dance. But na natin sa kanilang world tour, abangan sila. To America and it was such a wonderful time here in Isla Amara. Please come. It's a one-stop shop in El Nido in uh, Leo, Leo in Batangas. Leo Estate in Batangas. Eh, Batangas tuloy. Palawan. Uh, Palawan. <laughs> Palawan. Okay. Kailangan na natin uminom nito. Cheers. Okay. Cheers and thanks Papa P. It's good. Okay. I'll take your word here. Mix pineapple with orange, always good. Okay. And then for the sugar, orange. And then and you got the spike, you gotta spike up yeah, the ginger. Spike. Yeah. Keeps you healthy. Okay.